Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today I'm here to show you a new module from Anna Module. It's the TikTok Clock Divider and Multiplier Module. Now, this module is actually pretty special when it comes to clock dividers and multipliers and I'll show you why. Not only does this do divisions on this side, excuse me, divisions on this side and multiplication on the other side, but it also has a mathematical mode and a music mode so that you can switch between the two. What I want to do is I want to show how this thing sounds as a sub oscillator. Uh, the reason why I want to do that is different um, dividers sound different ways when you use them as a sub oscillator. Some are clean, some are dirty, some are really, really dirty. Um, so let's check it out. So what we're going to do here is uh, first what I've got is I'm taking a clock input and sending it uh, from the little monster VCO into the clock input on this. Now this module does not need a pulse input. I'm using a pulse input right now, but it does not need a pulse input. Anything that's a rising edge of 1.1 volts will work. So you can use an LFO, um, sine wave, whatever you want will work on this module. So now we've got clock coming in by the little monster VCO. Uh, little Monster VCO is uh, receiving pitch voltage from the micro brute, which is just out of view. And let's see what we've got here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take a. Um, where are we at? We'll go ahead and come out of divide by two. So there's divide by two, three, four, five, and six. There's also multiply same. So let's go ahead and just listen to the VCO first. Okay, so of course that is a saw wave there. And now let's take a listen to this guy. So as you can hear, it has a bit of a gritty digital sound to it. Um, not quite as gritty and digital as the uh, shuffling clock multiplier, um, but it sounds, um, it, it, it's an interesting hybrid between being really uh, usable and still having that kind of digital dirt to it. So let's uh, take a listen to how it sounds when we go down an octave. or up an octave, excuse me. Together. that it does track quite well so again I actually had it kind of patched up a little bit backwards here um, so the divide by two is actually this this higher octave that I was playing with here now another interesting thing about this module is that the um, the multiplication is a 25 millisecond trigger whereas the division is as long as your clock source is so whatever the the incoming wave is ramp wave whatever it is however long that is that's how long it will be on the div the division side now let's kind of toy with this and we'll, we'll see what other kinds of sounds we can get out of it as well Let's take this and we're gonna clock it from a totally different source now. So now I'm clocking this from a looping envelope, the Anamodule envelope, just to show you that it does not need to be a pulse input. Now, as I kind of sweep this, you 
you can see you can see how this is triggering. Now let's go ahead and patch this up. And what I'm doing is I'm sending a tempo synced LFO into the TikTok module for the clock, and I'm going to let the module basically control the vac troll on the SOB filter so that we can get these kind of pulsing, interesting sounds out of that. And let's send some more sounds around here. And what I'm doing is I'm sending uh, this the saw wave oscillator into the double D VCA, and then that will go into the mix man. Let's send that through a delay. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll use some of these triggers to, uh, we'll send some noise around here. See if we can get a snare out of the RF Nomad. just from this one module. We get all those timings just from one module, the TikTok module. It's only 4 HP, which is quite nice. Now, I'm going to turn this back up. We're still getting the same pattern, and I'm going to switch from the two modes, musical and mathematical. change your start point as well. Oh, my God. 
just a simple patch made using the TikTok module. This module is really quite nice. Now the multiplication on here will work even without an input going on. You need the input for the division side however because it's again it's measuring how long the input signal is. Uh, but the multiplication side will keep running. So if you want to patch other things once you've gotten a, a, a sound, you can do that. Another interesting thing that you can do with this is you can kind of do a rudimentary tap tempo with this as well. So if you just have a short cable plugged in and you just start tapping away, you can kind of get these, um, if you kind of, there you go. You need to have just a little bit of, charge on you but you can get it to start tapping there we go and of course if you hook that to a trigger you can do that quite easily as well so very easy to, to use this module to, to come up with fun patterns. Uh, it really works great when you use it with the V9A uh, sequencer over here. And it's just, it's just a great module. So anyway, it's available now from Anamodule. It's only about $159. So I highly recommend checking it out if you need a compact um, clock divider multiplier that can do both mathematical and musical so check it out. This is flux at fluxwithit.com. Peace.